Hello, everybody. Oh. That didn't like that. That didn't like that even one bit. Let's fix it. I'm very sorry. That was probably very loud. My bad. How are we all doing? I hope quite well. That'd be very nice. Uh, yeah, welcome back to the save. Where I'm going to give it a few minutes, but we have the biggest test of our season so far coming up. Because, uh, yeah, the cup draw that we had fairly recently um, spewed out an opponent. That I, I, I wish it didn't. I wish we had a nicer opponent. I wish we could have gone as deep as possible into the FA Cup. However. That wasn't to be the case. We may have gotten a draw against uh, that lot from over the Pennines. Manchester United. Which isn't the draw that you want, really, is it? You're a championship side in the FA Cup. You're like, well, we, we've got to work something out, haven't we? No. No, you're just, you're just going to get the hardest possible opponent at any given time. I feel like I've been done dirty. But you know what? That's okay. I don't know if I want to do my team selection yet. I want to give it a minute. I'll I'll let it marinate. I don't want to I don't want to face them off right now. I want to have a look at our transfer business. <laughs> right, Dan James wants to start more games, which is fine. We can do that. He's good enough to. Let's have a look at how our lovely next opponent tend to play. They like to hold the ball, which is annoying. One of their best forwards is Anthony, which is especially annoying because uh, various uh, reasons that I'm not going to dive into right now. They attack very well. They're fouled quite a lot. They complete a lot of their crosses. Lots of shots. High XG. Score from it, which is scary. General performance. Quite good. Which is spooky, I think. Kind of want to hope for a heavily rotated side from them. What have their matches been recently? Let's have a quick look. Lost to Newcastle, lost to Palace, lost to City, which means that there's something there. They're not invincible. They have just had two weeks off, which means that they won't be rotating too hard. But then again, they got Brentford very soon, and they're eighth in the league. They can be got on it. Liverpool beat them. Palace. Do we have any details on how Palace beat them? Because if so, we can try and copy it. Um, possession. Palace have more possession. So do we just try and hold the ball? I think we do something bespoke for dealing with these. Because we know that they're a threat. We know it's not going to be easy. So I think we switch up the system. A nice little 5 2 1 2. Maybe. Peru and Rotero at the top. Gray. Because I quite like having that defensive midfielder. So if we make that Ampadu, might have to chuck Crosswell back there. Ampadu as the halfback. Ask my wing backs to attack a lot. That should help. I don't know. I don't know. This isn't an easy one to work out, really, is it? Um, you can be an advanced forward. Rotero's more of a false nine sort of guy. Floating about, causing some problems. I think we've got to stick with something like this. Because that's how they've lost. 
I think we tr we stick with our standard like Gagan Pressy style. Stay narrow though, because we've got a lot of players that are fairly technical. That we can play through the middle. Uh, it'll have to be a shoot on sight kind of job because I don't think we'll be able to build that many opportunities. Get some overlaps going with the fullbacks as well. When possession has been lost, I think we regroup. I think a counter press would be suicide. Defensive line, I'm going to go standard, and I'm, but I'm still going to go with the high press. It might leave a little bit of a gap here, but we should be okay. And I think we get stuck in. We've got a few players that are on bookings from the first like um, match we played in the FA Cup, but then again, is it that bad? Like, a suspension, I'm not too asked about because we've beaten Scum. Gabriel Sara we can't bring into the side yet. Put Caleb Wiley into the squad, just because he gives us a nice little replacement left back. And I think that's going to have to do. Does anyone have any strong opinions on whether or not this is a bad idea? Before we go for it. Because I'm fully aware that it could be. Like, I also know there's a big gap here. Which could be an issue. But. Is it the worst gap to have? I think it's alright. I don't know it too much. I think I'm going to go for that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just win. That's the right opinion to have here. Let's just beat them. We'll kick them lots. We'll play a lot of a lot of football. Slightly change the title of the stream. Let's send it. And let's uh, kill Bruno when we're tackling him, shall we? Uh, carry on your performance will win. Uh, need a strong defence. Need to dominate the midfield. And I need to see some good finishing. Particularly looking at you, Mr. Georgie. Six goals all season. Joel, next to him. Brilliant. He scored 22. That's fab. Elsewhere? Problems. Let's see if this big old defensive style works out. That was off. No shot. That was offside. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. We are at Elland Road as well, which means that, thankfully, no VAR. Any decision is the actual decision. I'm going to encourage the boys, because this is a match where we will need encouragement. Hello, Iris. Where, where are you going? Are you just going to... You're going to sit directly behind me. Yeah. Hello. Yes, you're so cute, aren't you? Yes. Yes. She does love the back scritchies. Which, brilliant, honestly. Not going to complain at her for that. Right, 27 minutes in. And we still haven't had much. So I'm going to extend it to the extended highlights. Just so we can see what's happening here. Where things are breaking down. What our issues are. Um, let's have a Leeds pass map as well. Oh, hello. Gomez. What are you going to do? Fires it in. Middle of the box. Headed. Back post. That could have been it. That could have been it. And it wasn't. Sergio Gomez again on the corner. Fires it in. Shaw knocks it clear, but... Ugh, Gomez is beaten by Mainu to the ball. Is it Mainu or Mainu? I can never quite remember. Right, it's their corner. This is where we need to stay switched on. Need to be smart here. Dealt with. Fernandez. Clear it. Thank you, Charlie Crosswell. Mm. 
Mount Domenu to Martinez to Dallo. Dealt with by Rodon. Okay. Having Rodon in the middle of those three centre backs is just perfect. Piro has got a bro shin. I'm not too bothered. He can come back from that. Nil nil. First half of nil nil. Which I'm I'm not I'm not the happiest with. Because their XG is terrifying. We're holding an alright amount of the ball, but is it enough? Let's have a look at some of the big old data. Grove is dropping a little bit deeper than I'd want him to there. He's deeper than Ampadu, which is pretty bad. Which is making me have a little bit of an idea. Why not just put Ampadu there and we'll have a central attacking midfielder? To just sort of tie things together a little bit more. Leads his passes. Let's have a look at our completed passes. We've got nothing in there, third. Nothing is happening up this end of the pitch. Which is bad. How are we doing for sideways he passes? Not perfect either. Um I think a ten would be good here. So I want to push Ampadu up into that role. Swap out Gru. If this is a mistake, it's a mistake. But we need to find out, don't we, really? Drop Rotter in as the 10. And then at number 9, I want to try Mateo. And then, sorry Archie, you're going to have to be a little bit more box to box. Play a little bit deeper this half. And that might work. I'll drop the tempo a bit. Because I feel like we might be losing the ball too quickly. Another one of the, the issues is, like... I told the gang to play, like, nice and narrow. But we're not, like... Making those passes in the narrow areas in their third. Which... Not fun... Rodon to Grey. Back to Rodon. There we go. I don't mind this recycling the ball stuff. As long as we don't give it away. Really, really happy that I didn't curse that. And we've just kept it. That's fine. That's the stuff we want to be doing. Anthony pings it to the far post. Dealt with by Ampadu. Very nice. Shaw, sure, is he going to cut that inside? Of course he is. To Minu, who's going to shoot wide. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're not worried. We're okay. We're happy. Roberts to Piru. Cresswell. Grey. Find a nice ball through. There we go. This is why we have that number 10 in there, because we've got more numbers at the top of the pitch. Gomez comes inside and misses. It's a chance. That's what counts. Bruno Fernandes. Near post. Doesn't make it to Varane. That's fine. It goes all the way back out to Fernandez. Dallo shoots wide. Apparently blocked by Piru. I didn't see the block. So, it's fine. Luke Shaw. Where are you going to put it this time? All the way to the far post. Doesn't quite make it. Hoyland. To Dallo. Into Hoyland. Please just shoot from a wild distance. Varant Fernandez. Misses. Uh, one second. Need to change something on that monitor. Banging. That should be dealt with. To the FM screen. There we go. Right. Melier. Let's let's build from the back, shall we? Let's be let's be clever. Let's draw the press. That'll do. That's nice, Matteo. 
Finds Connor Roberts, Cresswell. Great. To Georgie! I thought he'd scored that. So hopeful. Alright, Sergio Gomez. Launches it. Doesn't quite get to Cresswell, but he's not released the ball quickly enough to hit us on the counter, which is good. That's fine. This pass map still isn't looking super happy over here. Gomez. Ruta. Pinged all the way to Mainu. Sure. Back to Mainu. He is dictating this midfield in a way that I'm not happy with. Anthony Fernandez into Mainu. Good block. Oh. We gotta hold together. We gotta be. We gotta. Calm. We're zen. We're fine. Sure. To Varane. Well caught by Melier. Okay. I don't want a replay. It's the last thing I want, but I also don't want to lose. Uh, encourage the boys, because it's going quite well. These suggestions, like um, Roberts is a yellow away from a suspension, we should consider subbing him. Absolutely not. Um, purely because... We're not too asked about the suspension. Have they changed shape? Where's Martial going out on the wing? That means one of Mount and Fernandez has dropped in. Strokes given all he's got, but I don't really want to bring on Coops when Strokes having a pretty good game. Gray can't find Gomez. Launched all the way out to Martial, who doesn't win the ball, but sure does. Ruter picks it up again. Mainu finds Fernandez. Launches a shot. Oh, that was close. A little bit close for comfort, but we dealt with it. Anthony. Martial. Mount. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I've seen enough football manager to know that that's the shot that goes in. But we got away with it. Everyone's really tired at this point. We need fresh legs. I just don't know who, and I don't know where. Rodon nodded on nicely. Dallo. To Mainu. Back to Dallo. To Martinez. Is it going to go back to Dallo or Mainu? Mainu. Such, so, like, sort of predictable passing shapes here. But it's worked for the... And with that, the dunk count goes up. <laughs> Where's Mr. Dunk gone? Mr. Doc. Hello. This one hurts. This one annoys me a little bit more than normal. Not the time for this song. Not at all. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the one that is always like for the hype moments. We might be okay. We just have to come back into the game. We can do it. I know we can. Time for changes. Piru, sorry mate, you're gonna have to come off. For... Dan James. He's got the legs for this. Which of our centre-backs is struggling the most? I'd say Pascal. So off he pops for Jackie Clark. Who is also going to get aggressive. Georgie Ruter going to change role. Shadow Striker. These guys are going to go to complete wing-back so they can just run all day. Stuart Dallas for Connor Roberts. A little bit more energy. Got one more change. Who on this bench is going to make the biggest adjustment to us? Maybe Cree. But we're already bringing on James and Clark. So I want to say maybe Greenwood. Who can play that aggressive role instead of Archie.
And what we're going to do, we're going to up the tempo, we're going to up the directness of the passing. We're going to use that weight for a little bit more. We're going to counter press when we lose the ball. Distribute it quickly. This is going to be all go from this point. This is going to be kill them. If they come away with the win, that's fine, but they're not going to come away with the shins. That's the goal. We out here ending careers today. Here we go. It's time. Rodon, great. We've not had a chance to make those tactical changes yet, but we've won a free kick instantly. And we did nothing with it. And I wanted us to go attacking at the same time. Demand more. Come on. There's something in this game for us. Bruno. Lobs it. Shaw gets to it. Ball pings about a bit. Who's up top for us? Stuart Dallas. Why? Uh, oh, God. Why wasn't that Dan James or someone? Anthony goes out wide. Back post, the Beyblade wins a corner. Hain. Sure. Standing over the ball. What's he going to do with it? To the far post again. Ampadu wins the ball. Put it inside. Oh, he had such a nice underlap going. We're going to have to go very attacking now. We're running out of time. Rodon to Georgie. Slides in for Sam Greenwood. Very nice. Stuart Dallas. Dan James. Dallas. Greenwood. Square it. James. Back post. Clark! That would have been the perfect moment. Everything coming together. Rodon. Georgie picks the ball up. Fires it back to Melier. That's fine by me. I don't mind that. Rodon. Ampadu finds Cresswell. To James. Who cuts inside. Nice little bit of running. Dribbles past his man. Dallas. Fires it in Greenwood. Three minutes of added time. And what we're going to do... We're just going to watch the three minutes. We have to. I don't think I'd be able to handle it otherwise. We've won a goal kick. Melier. Pinged wide for Dallas. Very nice. Greenwood picks the ball up instead. Cresswell now. Into Greenwood. Ruter finds Mateo. Clark... I wasn't convinced that that was upside, but that's fine. Martinez. Take it. Come on. Ref. Book him. What a joke. I want those 14 seconds back at the end of the match. Gonna slightly change Mateo's role to a pressing forward just so he's definitely on their backs all the time. Needs that bit of running. Dallo, Anthony, into Varane. Georgie, what a challenge, but you can't follow it up. Varane puts it all the way back to Bayendi. But if we can keep this press up. We'll be okay. Keep squeezing him. Martinez. Bay and Deer launches it. They're just playing for time at this point. Less than a minute left. Greenwood picks up the ball. Dallas. Okay, here we go. This is where we can build something. Dan James into Sam Greenwood, who might have lost the ball. Doesn't. Ruter. Joseph goes backwards. Ah, oh, bad decision. 30 seconds. Leads have the ball. Rode on halfway line. 
into Ethan Ampadu. Is he going to put it forwards? He is behind to Jack Clark, who doesn't win the ball. Moments left. If it ends the moment this throwing goes, then we've seen more time wasted than this. That robbery, theft. I, I would like to appeal to the FA. To anyone that will listen for justice, because that is just unacceptable. Awful. What do you mean, awful? Plenty of chances. Didn't work out. Didn't work out. Anthony scoring a fairly scuffed goal. More possession than them, same pass completion percentage. I just I I think if we were more aggressive we would have done a bit better. And that's my mistake, fair enough. Proud of the efforts even if it wasn't to be. Ah, oh, that's infuriating. We were so much better than that. I'm also playing FM at the minute. Very nice. Hopefully you're getting more wins than me against uh sides like that one. Rival victory pleases Ten Hag. That's nice. Frick. I mean, I love Eric Ten Hag. He's, he's, he's such, such a good dude. Oh, God. All right, Luca Thomas didn't do much for Accrington. This is such a drag down, isn't it? This is, we nearly beat Manchester United, and then we're talking about Luca Thomas's time at Accrington Stanley. Bit of a switch. Bit, bit, of, bit of a shift in vibe. Leeds board make extra funds available. Oh. Don't mind if I do, Leeds United board. Thank you very much. Question is, where are we going to put it? Jovan Slivicic is already doing pretty well. Slotting in to the under-21s. What do we sign him on in terms of his contract again? Uh, what role does he expect to have? Breakthrough. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind breakthrough prospect. I can work with a breakthrough prospect. The issue now is rebuilding that confidence. Getting back into a place where everyone can be a little bit, little bit happier. question is, how do we get there? That is massive. That is genuinely colossal. I don't know, like, I don't know where I'm going to spend it at this point. Because if you have a look, the only reason we have a low transfer budget is because I had to put it all in the wage budget to get Gabriel Sara. Like, realistically, we're on, what, 22 million quid? That's colossal. I just don't know where we put it. We need a right back, but I don't know if Trey Hume is the guy that we need. Give some praise and criticism where it's deserved, that'll improve morale. It will, yeah. I issue is, I don't have anyone to critique right now. Looking at our squad. Um, selection info. Last five games, no one's on awful form. We've only got Mateo Joseph not doing brilliantly, but he's a youth player coming through. Hang on. <coughs> Ow. I do miss the days when uh, Joel Piru was on a goal a game. That was quite good. Question is, what do we want to do with the transfer budget? Let's have a look at where we're weak in the squad dynamic, dynamic shall we? Um, into that side. In terms of depth, we're alright in most places. Relate to the last game, whoever gets below 6.6 .6 or whatever criticised them. That's true. Should probably do that. Let's have a look. I can never remember if there's a last match stat, though. Is the only issue. Uh, let's check the sketch. 
Did anyone not do very well? There's always really Matteo Joseph. And I'm not I'm not gonna complain at him too much because he came on as a late sub. So that's fine. We're looking reasonable at left back. Centre back we're alright. Defensive mid. Maybe we could do with one more. Central midfield tons. We're fine. On the wings we're okay. Up top. Maybe a bit more depth. Going forward, we will need a right back. I am going to re sign Dallas to a new contract, though. Never mind, he's joining Shanghai Port on the 1st of July. That's not good. I didn't know he'd agreed that. Might extend Byron because he's reasonable depth. What's he on now? 8k a week? No. I'm not paying 14 to 17. Um, so this makes the right back conversation a lot more urgent, doesn't it? This says we need a right back now. Because then that way we can also get rid of Dallas, like, now. Because he doesn't want to stick around, and we can earn some money for him. Right, this is right backs that might want to move. No, it isn't, that's all right backs. This is right backs that might want to move. Shit. That got worse. about going to onshore? Do we get any better options that way? Not hugely, but I do like the look of this Caligari. He can play all over the place. Jesus. I'm considering it. Let's have a chat with his agent. Between 12 and 16k a week is pretty good. Especially considering he's always, already at Byram's level. He will grow, grow beyond that as well. Fluminese will want somewhere between 550k and 7.2 mil. I don't know what to do. I'll add him for this season because he's good depth. Now it's about chatting with the club, innit? Um, I'm going to remove and exclude these because these are pain. Three point six should be enough to get him. I'm going to go in at I think. Or, and then hope that we don't need to chuck a bunch of additionals on. I'm going to cancel that one. And that one. Because that is the way that they get you to pay significantly more cash than you should. I'm going to go with four. I'm going to make it as an offer. Just straight up. I didn't, do I lock it? Semi-negotiable. Because I don't, I don't want this to be a long discussion. I want this to be a sick, he's coming, fab, done, bosh. Because we can see that he's good. Clearly a talented player. Bit rejected. What up? Ceiling. That way a little bit, you got a light fixture. Uh, other than that, it's just ceiling. Um, direct, no, wait, hang on. I think if you go above the ceiling, there's a little bit of shelving, because I put that up recently. Uh, let's go f 
five, five million pounds. Five million will do, surely. Um, Charlie Crosswell has vice captain, feels risky, but fuck it. We don't have one yet. Ooh. Uh, let's give him a contract. Uh, you missed, you did. We lost 1 0 to Manchester United. In a match that I am. You can set a response for the deadline. A deadline for the response. Um. Because it's nearly the transfer deadline anyway, I feel like we're going to get that happening as soon as, no matter what. So we should be okay. Yeah, I'm not bothered about hiring anyone right now. I agree, ew. Like, I think in that game we were better than them and we got a little bit robbed. But, it's fine. Uh, Harvey Vincent, do you want to play for Leeds? Without a yearly wage rise, because I hate giving yearly wage rises, because they uh, lead to spiralling wage costs. Follow up on your interest in Sam Byram. We're not negotiating with Sam Byram anymore, because... Don't deliberately charge me more than he's worth. You dipshit. Um... Yeah, I don't mind calling him a squad player. I think he'd get in. And I accidentally finalised the deal. But thankfully, it's only a two-year deal. So that's not too bad. Uh, Sligevich. Is he going to play this season, or is it best to chuck him out on loan? I am tempted to put him on loan. We are wearing this season's home kit. With the, the nice stripes, with the yellow that is the correct yellow. And uh, we will be streaming until uh, the press conference, which should be an adventure. Yeah, I think s I'll, I'll see if I can get them to make an Im important player. Fuck it, or a regular start and they give me money. That's fine. I just want to see Sledjevic play a decent amount of football. And he's not going to get that here this season. Uh, Trey Hume, we do not have to care about you anymore. We have signed cheaper and better from Brazil. James DeBio, and we are now at the one, the only, the deadline day. Are we spooked? Are we feeling good? Are we going to lose anyone important? Do we have anyone important left to lose? All good questions. We do have a boatload of cash. Which is helpful. Spooked. Why are we spooked? Who are we going to lose? Spooked. Always spooked. It's fine. It'll be right. On the subject of spooked... Um... A certain someone was very spooked earlier when uh, I arranged the next episode of Balls Knowledge, which I am recording tonight and putting out tomorrow. Should be very fun. Let's maybe register Gabriel Sara. It would be good to have him actually in my squad. I don't know. I don't know who with. I'm not, I'm not going to say who. I've got three in the pipeline. Two of them I can't record this week. One of them I'm recording tonight. And then I've got someone else who's agreed to do it but can't for, like, all of April, which is fine. Uh, Stuart Dallas. I'm going to try and sell him now. For, fuck it, 2.7. Let's take part in deadline day anyway. I don't know what positions we need right now. A bit of me wants like a deadly centre forward. This Pete is just between content creators. I wouldn't know who else to get on, I'll be honest with you. I can go beyond them. 
but what what you want is it would be weird as a viewer if you're going into a new series sort of thing looking through a leaderboard of people that have previously been on it and like if it were to be getting viewers on a new viewer would go like, I don't know who all these people are. Whereas if it's someone that's watched other folks, then that helps. Maybe a way to do it would be like a multi-person episode, so it's viewer versus viewer versus viewer. I've got one of those planned as well, a multi-person. That should be good. I hope that's good. It's just about getting that done. Messages are showing quicker after sending today. Super. Uh, I think it should have yesterday as well. I went um, I changed the setting in YouTube to go to like zero latency mode, which is playing hell on my PC. But you know what? It sped things up a bit. No complaints from me. Right. Let's check scouted players. Let's see who is a good scouted player that might want to come to play for Leeds United. Like Noah Darvik looks really good. Central midfielder. Ah, uh, multitasking some missed that. Sorry. That's fine. It's no problem. I don't think I mentioned it. It's all good. Why is this guy so good? Decent pace, decent ability. Not the best leader, but brilliant off the ball. Decent finishing. Shit at penalties, but he's only on 200 quid a week. Ooh. Let's compare him with Peru. See what we think. For a 19 year old, this guy looks insane. That Borbus looks tasty. I will have to have a look. Um, but first, I'm going to ask the agent how much he might cost. Between 200k and That's a fucking bargain. I know those wages are big. Those are huge wages. Those are Premier League wages. But two million quid with a release clause of 32. Two year contract is my concern. But then again, two year contract, that's what? 100 ish weeks. That makes this. 6.5 million quid at the top end of the wages. Add it to the 2 million. No one's going to complain if I'm signing this guy for 8 million pounds and not paying him a penny of wages. We we have to. Should be granted a work permit, that's fine. I think we go straight in with the 2 million. Do not piss about. It's deadline day, you do not want to lose these fights. Who was the other one? Bobus. We're also looking for a holding midfielder if we can find one. No, oh, sod Bobus. I think uh, Toklamati is better than Bobas as far as I can tell. Okay, now, defensive midfield. There's got to be some gems somewhere. Bajlix, we are already working on. But Juve are also working on him. Which is a problem. You'll be able to sign a better contract on your terms if you get promoted, so you can take out the release clause if it turns out to be ridiculous. That's the plan, yeah. If we go up as, as well as that, we can get more than a two year deal. Two and a half year, either way. But we also need a defensive midfielder. Which could be a challenge. 
Because Ampadu's had to step in at centre-back a lot this season. That or a centre-back. Uh, that'll do. Yeah, CDM or centre-back. That is somewhat interested in making the move. Adam Webster? Who is Jalil Elias? He's not my Sunderland. Did we just offer him a six-month contract? If he's got reasonable numbers, obviously. Strong in the tackle. Ah, he's slow, though. Hamza Chowdhury wants to come? Niko Bajlic we are already working on, so we'll have to find out a little bit more on him later. Cameron Humphreys is tempting. I keep forgetting that I've got £20 million. Which is a problem. Arlo's losing his mind. Good. Arlo! One second. I understand why he was grumpy now, and I can completely relate. His reasons for being grumpy, in this instance, were a combination of factors. Factor one, he's a boy that likes cuddles. Understandable. He's a very good boy. Obviously he likes cuddles. Factor number two. Uh, okay, I can try and move my head. I just don't know where I would ideally move it to. Bottom corner? Bottom corner work? Oh, no, wait, that's that. Um... Bottom corner might work. Uh, factor two. Um, because he is a cross between a dash and a chihuahua, uh, he gets cold really easily. So I popped on a heated blanket for him, and uh, it turned itself off. Which is bad. Can you see the physicals now? Yes, you can. Okay. I quite like the look of Gustavo Saar. At just 19. But then again, I've already signed a promising attacking midfielder in this window. That would be a waste of money. Let's not. Let's be responsible. We're not making bad decisions. Although this 20 odd million quid is burning a hole in my pocket. Yes you can. Solved. Shushan looks interesting. No determination, he's not going to develop. Okay. Who on earth is Kion Fitz Jim and. Ooh. I want to buy into. Not really a defensive midfielder, though. Change of tact. Change of plan. Sort of. Who in this world of football has an expiring contract? Castells does, but he's leaving on a free transfer. Not to anyone yet. No one's committed to him.
I don't want him to be better than Melier. And for the things that I think matter, he's hugely not. He's more eccentric, which doesn't really matter too much. Communication, sure, important. Mental, sure, important. Speed doesn't matter that much. Shot stopping is what I'm paying most attention to. I think I'm going to stick with Melee out of the two. Unless Castiles would want to come as a backup. Which feels unlikely. There are very few Premier League players just, like, expiring this season, aren't there? Kuro could be interesting, but he's another attacking player and that's not what we need. And a Herrera? Maybe. Again, a little bit slow, not strong. Oh, Mizuhoi, who decided to not come to us. Prick. <sighs> right, what's the transfer market itself looking like? Who's on the transfer list? In the world. Everyone. We'll ignore that. All of the players that are on the transfer list. Luca Bacchio, William Jose, Harry Sutar, Lorenzi. There's not an awful lot of quality, that's the issue. is sort of sad. Hmm. Right, one sec. Okay, so, 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 so. I think for now we leave it and we watch to see who is suggested to us. Thinking face. I don't think good. Oh, don't you dare. I am looking to strengthen the back line, in all fairness. I'm just going to give this guy what he wants. Because he's really good. Why... Why is the wage budget like that again? Right, remove those. Give him a bigger wage rise if we do go up. That's fine. More of an appearance fee. More of a goal bonus. More of a team of the year bonus. More of an unused sub beat. Because we are working against the fact that he doesn't necessarily want to come here over our rivals. And if we win the Skybet Championship. Never mind, that excludes current season. And if we win the FA Cup whilst he's here, uh, he can have another half a million quid. That's fine, surely. I don't know how I sweeten this deal that much more. There's a lot of bits that I need to lock down and make sure that he can't, like, 
overly negotiate here. Yes! Progress. Weekly wage has to go up while deciding on bonus. Uh, I, I just... Yeah, it's fine. With the news that Oscar Trejo has submitted a transfer request, will you be looking to sell him or you'll be waiting for the market to come to you? Uh, I want to sell him. So, Mr. Agent... Oh, for fuck's sake. If that goes through, that is a banger of a deal. I know the wages aren't great. But, Jesus. Uh-oh. It's like an Israeli Jamie Vardy. Okay, okay. I didn't want those bids to get accepted. Do you plan to loan Mateo Joseph out? We'll keep him here. Where were you earlier when I was looking for defensive midfielders? can go back in and give him more money. I don't think I can. That's the problem. But somehow, so much of this wage budget is, like, tied up. And it will not let me offer individual players more than that. That's as high as I could offer him. As far as I can tell, at the very least. Issue is Somerville, he wants a new contract. I, th I think we wait to sort that right. Oops. Oh, fine. End of the season? Fuck, he wants a deal now. That's fine. Trejo's gone to Claremont Foot. That is fine. That's not a problem. Slidjevic has gone on loan to Ayaccio. That's also fine. Let's get some match reports. Signing on bonus, or if you're feeling dirty, you could give the agent more money. That could work. Bajlic. Why has he gone to Bournemouth? Why, in his shoes, are you like, no, you know what, I've got Bournemouth. I'm not going to go to Juventus. Bournemouth. Brilliant. Clever. Jesus. What? Work permit. Work permit decision. He's accepted it. Oh, confirm it. Confirm it. Give me the email. Give me the email. Shit. 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 Let's appeal it. Appeal it, like, now. Tuckle is not a literal child. He's, like, 19, I think. He's nearly a literal child, but... Oh, my God. Okay, if we don't get that work permit across the line, I'm going to cry. Because that is such a good purchase. Adam Webster for £41 million, pounds, anyone? Uh, no, thank you. How can his permit be rejected? His contract's worth £5 million quid. I don't know. He's got it on the appeal. We're good. Oh. Toklamati, in you come. B minus. B minus. Pathetic. 
Dad, let's have a word with him. As signings go, banger. Absolute banger. <laughs> People. And the right back Caligari is coming in as well. Fan Dabby Dozy. Imagine a guy with those stats in a BL side. Exactly. And you know what? We're not that far off with the way that we play at the moment. That high intensity passing patterns kind of fun stuff. Joffy could be leaving on loan. I wouldn't mind him leaving on loan. Um, offer via transfer room on loan. I'm not asked about anything except him being an important player. Not bother about the money. We're good for cash. The club are pumping us full of money. We do not need that right now. Look at his value! Look at how much he's worth now! Twenty nine million pounds. <laughs> we signed him for two. <laughs> Is the game broken? Have, have, have we have we finally done it? Have we broken Football Manager? What a fucking signing! A guy needs a new deal at the end of the season or he's off. Absolutely, yes. But even then, imagine how much I'd make from him. Right. So realistically, we can still sign someone else. So, sign anyone else. Uh, yes or no. Or do we save it for the end of the season? Because I think we could probably like permanently sign Jack Clark. At the end of the season. Could we? Send it back or DM for Ampadu. Yeah. Yeah. Question is who? Did we get Adam Webster on loan? No side preference. Right footed, so that could be an issue. Now, slight issue. He's not cheap. But Webster's good. I don't know if we give him the regular starter minutes. So do we try for Adam Webster, who is the best centre-back left on the market? Or do we try someone else? I don't know. I'm confused. I don't like having to make decisions. I think he'd be way too good for the league. Yeah. Fuck okay, it, we'll do it. Uh, I'll see if I can drop it to a little bit less on... 
both of these fronts. Okay, I can only do 90% now. I can do that. Do you have one lone spot left? Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five. No. In theory, we don't have a lone spot left, but we can release someone. And Jaden's only played for us eight times. New poll. Do we release Jaden Anthony to sign Adam Webster? He's only played eight times. He scored a few mostly non-competitive goals. I don't think Anthony even plays again for the rest of the season. I'll be honest with you. Guys, you could not be 50-50 right now. That That is a problem. So, 50-50 will do. It's me having the deciding vote. We're releasing Jaden Anthony. Saves us a lot of wages as well. Off you pop, buddy. Back to Bournemouth. Adam Webster, yes, we can accept those demands. If we can get Webster as well, this is a banger of a deadline day. That's huge. And that makes Toclamati happy because we strengthen the backline. Cresswell's a bit spooked about Adam Webster's arrival. There won't be changes in your agreed playing time, which isn't much. And that's why I can give you that offer. He'll still play a bit. Right. I sort of want to send him back to Wigan. Because I quite like that like little narrative. Where are Wigan in the league? 23rd. I'm sending Joe Gelhart to Wigan to save the club. I'm absolutely white knighting Joe Gelhart going to Wigan. Off you go, Joff. I'll compile some match reports. Keep an eye on you. Genuinely, I d not. I I couldn't think of the right phrase. That's fine. We've had a fantastic deadline day there. If we have a look at the squad now. We have added Sara, we have added Webster, we have added Toclamati, and Lucas Caligari. That's pretty good on a deadline day where we didn't actually have to make any big sales as, as well. I'm very happy with that. Would be good to register him for the squad though. Yep. There we go. In you come, Adam Webster. You're actually in the squad. That helps. 
Uh, we've made a significant loss this month. Uh, made a lot of money on uh, Gelhart, no, which is very nice. I think we have time for one more match before Mr. Daniel Farker's press conference and then I have to record a video. That squad might catch Leicester. I'm only three points off. I think we're good. Um, You know, I bought in another striker. Mateo, sure, you can go on loan. Manager of the month, 100% win rate in the league. Most notable result was a 2-1 win against Millwall. That's a little bit rude. We had a genuinely good month. Stuart Dallas is out injured. He's going to have a little chat with the physios. What's the purpose of this? Yeah, it's it's, it's a fun stream. I'm going to play football manager anyway. So I might as well play football manager on a stream. Have a nice chat with the community. Really? Yeah. What 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 did you think was happening here? No, I said it sarcastically. Right. Caligari's still on international duty. That's fine. Matteo Joseph could be leaving on loan because the window hasn't closed in Norway. Do we start Toklamati is my question. Or do we give him a little bit little bit of time to settle in? Because look at him, he's so good. I wanna start him. My new shiny toy. As an attacking pressing forward. Uh first time I look at it. That's fine. Stick around if you want. These are always quite nice, fun streams. He is match fit, and that definitely helps. Right. This is where I get a little bit of an issue, because I want to I wanna try something. No thanks, like your other content. That's okay. Do we play Rutter and Sara in the same side? Because that would be monstrous. They're so good. There will be significantly more of my content in other areas coming as well. It's just, I've got a little bit of chill time. Might as well stream it, you know? Right. Webster obviously starts. Uh, alongside Rodon? No, alongside Strouk, who's better on the left. Sergio Gomez isn't a three and a half anywhere, so I can't really boost that any higher. Wait, Joe, I'm waiting. Yes. Webster's unfit and he's easing in. Oh, yeah. I always forget that that's a thing. Match shape. Sharpness, sorry. That one. Or do road on instead. That's fine. No problem. And then This looks like a team that nobody would want to play against. That backline, imperious. 
and Padu back here providing a little bit of cover alongside Gabriel Sara pinging balls all over the shop. James and Somerville attacking your defensive line combined with... We need a nickname for Toklamati that is not massively insensitive. <laughs> There'll be something. It's fine. But... I think that's a perfect lineup. I can't see any other reason to change that team. I'm going to pop Caleb Wiley on the bench, though, just because it's good to have his sort of support. So, coming up to it, just got Coventry to do, and then I will end the stream and head over to the... Um, place where I'm storing the end of this sentence that I can't find for some reason. Shit. Oh, just need to check teams. Oh good, I've got four messages on teams. It's always what you want to see in it. Okay. I'll ignore that. I'll pretend that no one has messaged me on Teams and I am, in fact, uh, without anything to do right now. Right, Coventry. Uh, Lewis Piri scores twice in the under-18s. Piri is really good. I really want to see Piri develop. Uh, no, I will not be making these changes. Because I think this team is going to absolutely terrorise them. Let's submit it. Squad numbers need to be given to two players. Thankfully, we have the number nine now available, and Webster can get the 12. Submit. And let's go for it. Let's beat them. Ideally, nice and comfortably. We're on a winning run. We're doing well. I have faith make a difference. Faith make a difference. And faith make a difference. It's Coventry. If we can't beat Coventry, then... That transfer window was scarier than it should have been. I've forgotten that we are on the full match view. Let's go to extended highlights. FM legend Jan Vila plays for Coventry, does he? Oh yeah, there he is. Well in by Somerville. Let's get around him, shall we? Rodon. Doesn't work out. That's fine. Don't mind that too much. Borough beating Huddersfield is not something that I'm too bothered about. Let's just keep encouraging the side. Keep trying to cause them some problems. Right, Sergio Gomez sets up for the corner. Pings it near post. Toklamati's underneath it. Doesn't manage to win the header, but that's fine because Connor Roberts is on the end of it. Gabriel Sara back to Roberts. We're very narrow right now. Sara down the line to Jan to James. He doesn't square it in time. Stroke. Gomez. Stroke. And Padu. To Rodon. Pinged wide to Connor Roberts. Somerville's in behind. He's going to square it and we are going to score Toklamati's first goal. Never mind. Ampadu. Sara, shoot. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Wins a corner. Jan Dames. Fires it in near post. No one underneath it. But that's fine. That's okay. Georgie to Gomez. Gomez. Finds Pascal. Rodon. Roberts. Ah, come on. Pings it into the middle. Toklamati doesn't win the header. That's fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to... Between streams... Toklamati! Hits the bar! That'll do. 1-0. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask some of my... Israeli co-workers how to pronounce his surname. Because I want to make sure I'm getting that right. Oh, so close as well. 
we're a good team, aren't we? That's quite a nice surprise. Uh, let's, let's pop a bit of praise. Well done, lads. We're very early into the game and we are just all over them. Toggle Marty finds Jorginho, who is killed by Bidwell. Immediately sent off. Hopefully not injured. No, he's fine. Okay, we're against 10 now. I've got one up top. Right, is challenged Ampadu now to Strouk. Who strokes the ball across the box to Rodon. Ha <laughs> ha, Ethan Ampadu. Georgie. Roberts, who didn't quite overlap, but that's fine. That's not a problem. Ampadu's back inside. Play to Sarah, who shoots. 2-0. Have we broken the game? Because that deadline day was too good. Like, you shouldn't be allowed to have a deadline day that good. Rodon. What do you mean rigged? When I win, it's not rigged. The sad part is it started this empty. Uh, Gomez overlaps. Fires it in. Tucklemarty isn't quite there. He's not, he's not in the team rhythm yet, but he will get there. Gomez. Far post. Somerville doesn't score. Somerville picks it up now. Roberts shoots. No, he doesn't. Somerville was offside, I think. Never mind. Goal kick. He just missed. That's fine. Either way. Uh, players will be happy to see the extra work on attacking set pieces is working. Well, that's a good job. We've got another one, then. Uh, would you sign Sarah for Leeds if we go up IRL? I think. In his first appearance, he scored. I think I would. Tassaro is someone that genuinely has a lot of quality. And I think it'd be good to sign someone that is Georgina Rotter's clone. Sergio Gomez is having a quietly really good game. Sara doesn't shoot. Sergio Gomez saved. Imagine if he would have scored after I said that. Coventry, lads, are you sure you're playing today? Gomez, near post. Toclamati isn't quite under it. Yeah, I think I would sign Sarah. It'd be probably quite expensive. But this is assuming Norwich don't go up. Which, in the dream world, Ipswich and Norwich both come up. And Sarah scores the winner in the playoff final against Leicester. Yeah, he, he won't cost little. Which is the shame, I think. Unless he wants to force a move. Which could be fun. I'll get Rafinha to get in touch with him. Like, hello, my fellow Brazilian. Leeds is nice this time of year. Uh, let's chuck a bit of praise out. Because you know what? We deserve it. We're doing good. Dan James somehow won a 6.5. How did they miss? How? What? Stroke to Sarah. Back to Stroke. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're clear. We're fine. We're happy. We're fine. Whew. Gabriel Sara. Fires it in. Oh, not a bad shot. Be nice to see us do some of that business we've done on the likes of Ampadu. Yeah, I I think my concern there is we got Ampadu so cheap because we were a championship side. Chelsea knew that we didn't have that much money in the coffers. Whereas if you're a Premier League team, they can go, well, we know how much revenue you earn from TV stuff. So take your number, double it. I think if, if we're in the Premier League, we do not get Ampadu for £7 million. Right, still 3-0. Yes, I'm going to sub off Gomez, but that's because for the first time I'm genuinely worried about a suspension. He's played so well in this match. All right, Gabriel Sara takes his first corner for Leeds. Not bad, it teases the near post. Ruter. Nice save. We got five minutes before the presser. Can we finish the match against Coventry in time? 
Dan James fires it in near post. <sighs> and Villa deals with it. James to the back post. Finish that. Never mind. Tocla Marty. Wiley to James. Back to Wiley. Who loses out to Eccles, which isn't great. Oh, that's such a daft goal. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's 4 <four> 0. <laughs> that was genuinely such a silly finish. James, cut it back. Oh, just shoot. That's fine. 5 5 0. We keep going. Get Webstrong for fitness. Good call. Very good call. Who else is low on match fitness? Um, Clark is a little bit. I'll bring him on for Jan Dames. Adam Padu. I'm going to give a little bit of a rest. Because he's played a lot of football. Who else isn't in match shape right now? That is... Maybe Coops. We'll stick with those four changes for now. Would love to see a multiplayer stream with you and Joe Wenman and see what his tactics would be. Ask him. He might fancy it. I'm in that spot where I've like I've just asked him to do a quiz. So I'd feel a little bit cheeky being like, Hey Joe, you want to do a thing again? And I was like, ah. Letty Budgiel to Eccles. Fired at the back post. Dealt with by Webster. Very nice. Sheaf dealt with. Webster. Nice challenge. We got two minutes, lads. Let's let's maybe get this let's maybe get this done with. Let's go to key highlights. Let's not watch the extended stuff. Let's focus on. We got five different goal scorers as well. He owes us people on ask him. I know, but that's the thing. Like, I had him on my channel like a week ago. So like, calm. Maybe. I don't even know if he's played Football Manager before. Six. Oh, it's disgusting. Yeah, we're at the point where the moment this match ends, I uh, might have to end the stream. <laughs> because of the presser. Super extra rigged. Uh, we're just good. Just getting good. That's all I can say. Sarah, back post. Seven. Now, I'm not one of these fuck it out kind of guys. I'm just saying. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I've not got any subs left. That's fine. Coming on after presser. Uh, probably not. I don't like sort of like stepping on people's toes. Oh, it's only six. No, I thought we'd go seven. Yeah, I don't like like getting streaming at the same time as other people unless it's like for a good reason. So I'm just going to sit in Joe's chat, have a watch, have a bit of a wind up, keep backing the junior furpo cause, and uh, finish question prep for later. Clark. Oh, it is seven. It's seven nil. It's seven nil to Leeds United over Coventry. Filth. Unnecessary filth. This is the kind of stuff that, like, nutcases in the Deep South ban. Borderline pornographic. But it is half past. I'm going to have to end the stream there because I'm going to have to go over and watch the Leeds United press conference. So do that. Hop in Joe's stream afterwards. I'll see you in the chat. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you haven't yet. You could even become a channel member because I keep it as affordable as I can. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later.